Well, good morning, folks. Um, today we're going to hear the evidence of Lord Glen Arthur, who is a key figure in all of this. Uh, he took over as a minister in the health department uh, in the summer of 1983, which of course was a critical time when it comes to the story of HIV. Um, what we're, we're going to uh, hopefully hear about today is the development of the theme from yesterday on the no conclusive proof. Now, this is significant because what the doctors were refer- and scientists were saying is, well, let's wait and see. We don't know, for example, it, it's a bit like saying a child wanders onto a motorway, to use Bruce's analogy, um, and let's see if they, they actually die. Um, or whether they, they managed to cross or whatever. It, 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 it's a crazy situation. He was warned about it um, by Lord Penrose in a letter. And while the evidence uh, that we're going to see may well refer to Lord Glen Arthur's response to Lord Penrose, um, we don't actually see what the warning letter from Lord Penrose said. But it's on this no conclusive proof theme that I, I, I think we hope to hear more. And one other thing, and the reason I've come down, is Lord Glen Arthur, of course, was a minister, in a former minister for the former Scottish office, only very briefly for nine months in 1986-7. Nevertheless, he's one of the very few Scottish office figures that we're likely to hear from. So I hope you it's a, a useful and informative day Um, It's very hot here in London. Cheers.